welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on algebraic fractions. There's going to be a few videos on this topic. We'll start in this first video by looking at simplifying algebraic fractions. Now I should point out that having a good understanding of the rules of fractions in general and the rules of indices will really help you with this topic. Uh, so if you're not confident with those skills then I recommend you watch our videos on those topics first. But here we're going to look at this fraction where we have 55 x to the power 4 y cubed over 15x squared y and we want to simplify this fraction so that means just cancel out all the terms until we're left with the fraction in its simplest form. So I'm going to rewrite this first of all as three fractions multiplied together. So we have 55 over 15 multiplied by x to the 4 over x squared multiplied by y cubed over y. So you don't have to do this but I think it just is clear to break it up into its individual terms. So you can see what cancels with what. Uh, so uh, 55 over 15 cancels down to 11 over 3. So you can just take out a factor of 5 from the numerator and the denominator. Uh, so that gives you 11 over 3 in its simplest form. And then x to the 4 over x squared, using the rules of indices, uh, what we'll do is subtract the power on the denominator from the power on the numerator. So we get x to the 4 minus 2. Uh, that's a minus sign in there. And we do the same with the, the, the y cubed over y, so that gives us y to 3 minus 1. So if you simplify this, you get 11 over 3 times x squared times, whoops, that shouldn't be an x, that should be a y, times y squared. Uh, so all that's left is to just multiply these all together again. So we get 11x squared y squared over 3. So this fraction is now in its simplest form. Algebraic fractions are a topic that come up all the time in GCSE Maths, so if you want to get some practice in before your actual exam, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform, and if you take the test you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So it's a really good way of finding out where you're going wrong, so you can improve for your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.